Hey guys, Shiggy Domain, Naboo.com with a Naboo.com surf forecast update. This update effective around 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, August 18th, 2016. And guys, going to start you off with some satellite imagery uh, just over here north of Puerto Rico. There is a small area of vorticity spin that's been spinning out here last couple of days. Right now, the South Bermuda buoy, east-northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, sees only about 4 to 5 feet with about 4 feet of swell height. The East Canaveral buoy has uh, has gained about a foot since yesterday. He's got about three foot of swell height and Gray's Reef looks like it's trying to come up just a little bit. This little vorticity spin and depending on how long the winds can maintain on the um, east north or south Bermuda buoy out of the east northeast could put a small little shot in the water reinforcing some east southeast swell that's been anticipated over the last couple of days. Um, here locally uh, Jacksonville we did see a small little increase overnight on uh, on the surf and expecting a little bit more towards, towards the weekend if this can persist. Now what's setting up off the east coast of the United States is this. We've got a double front that's going to come and behind the double front is going to be building high pressure. And at first the models a couple of days ago, which guys this is what makes it so difficult to put a forecast together sometimes, we're showing a stronger area of high pressure moving off the uh, east coast of the United States. Now they are starting to trend just a little bit weaker, and that could have some big effects coming up in the extended forecast. We'll show you that in just a few moments. Right now there's a gale developing just southeast of Nova Scotia and this is moving off towards the North Atlantic. Seas building in the next 24 to 48 hours, 15 to 18 feet. That's going to put some northerly swell in the water and it, it was kind of a fly in the ointment. We had that other big Hudson Bay low that moved over towards Greenland um, last week or several days ago that put some northeast swell in the water. That's what's moving through the North Central Atlantic over the next 24 to 48 hours and what led us to believe that whatever swell that might be coming from Fiona would get drowned out in that northerly swell. Well, here comes another gale developing southeast of Nova Scotia. Now, this is going back up towards where um, th that other low was the other day near Greenland and is forecast to possibly intensify into a storm, and that'll reinforce some northerly swell in the North Atlantic. This area of low pressure that's down here north of Puerto Rico, or this little vorticity spin, is going to get sucked up into the front up in here, and there is an outside chance that when that high pressure comes in, we could get some tightening of the gradient just east of the outer banks because starting around Monday or Tuesday, winds are going to come out of the north, northwest, and then northeast off the mid-Atlantic coast down in here towards Florida. The big change is coming out of the east Atlantic, and we'll show you that here with Fiona in the top left-hand portion of your screen and this next tropical wave that has moved off Africa. Now, the National Hurricane Center at this point has not tagged at 99L Invest, but that should be forthcoming. Um, as you can see, this is the 15 line in here, and notice how the vorticity spin is below 15. This looks like it's going to continue to move off towards the west. Now, Euro, last couple of days, was lifting it off northwest in the wake of of Fiona, and that looks like after last night, after watching it move off, it lost all of its convection. In fact, last night, uh, uh, Fiona looked like it was just going to completely fall apart. So guys, there are some uncertainties in this forecast. Don't take uh, what I'm telling you right now as the gospel because the forecast can change quickly. But this looks like it's going to be moving off towards the west, and we're going to show you that in the afternoon run of the GFS. Guys, keep in mind, this is one run of many and I am not saying by any stretch of the form that this model is going to verify. I can tell you this, if you go back and look at our website update yesterday, we talked about, and some of the keywords we've been using over the last couple of weeks, possible coastal runner, possible major swell event coming, um, you, you know, as a true surfer, Tropical waves are like w waves in a set. Never take the first set of the wave, which, by the way, our, our first wave of the set, which, by the way, this would be Fiona in here. And this below right here moving through the islands and up over Hispaniola is what you, I just showed you moving off the African coast in here. So that's going to look 
like it's going to continue to move off towards the west. And we'll go back to the model now. And this is next Saturday and Sunday. Not this Saturday and Sunday, but next Saturday and Sunday. So a long ways out, guys. But this is not the first time the GFS has shown it. And the Euro only goes out to 10 days. But we saw signs of this. That's what prompted us to talk about a coastal runner. And our post yesterday uh, is what we saw in the Euro about two or three days ago. So this moves this into Sunday. Now, here's where some complications can, can come in because the low wants to move up over the island of Hispaniola. Hispaniola is known as a storm killer. And so anytime you get this type of track, it's always suspect. So again, guys, some uncertainty based on this run, one run of many. Let's move you in a little closer now. And here it is now, just moving over Puerto Rico on Friday into Saturday, up and over Hispaniola, and into the Bahamas by Sunday is 1,003 millibar low. Progress it a little further, and it starts to intensify the system to a 999 just east of the Florida coast. This is Tuesday. August 30th, guys, so it's a long ways out. 240 hours is 10 days. This is at 276. But look what happens afterwards. It comes up just off the Outer Banks and intensifies to a 993 and then down to a 989 just east of the Outer Banks. Now, this is a classic out to sea, no worries, no problem type scenario that this model is presenting it's only one run we could see a shift a little bit more towards the west or a little bit more towards the northwest over the next couple of runs the euro is coming out uh, in about another hour or so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that run uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on this run and again looking at the satellite imagery guys um, this is a a very nice area of spinning here. Now, um, like Fiona, when Fiona moved off, Fiona was elongated, and there's still a little bit of that, and there is a little piece of energy from when Fiona first moved off that's heading towards the Caribbean that we may end up keeping an eye on as well. There's no doubt that tropical activity is on the increase, guys, coming up over the next seven to ten days. Stay tuned for the next update.